So we're sending right now between 10 and 11,000 pounds of milk every other day. We're milking about 68 cows and there's probably 18, 19 dry cows. Another 20 some head of bred heifers that'll calve in within the next seven to eight months. We grew to some pumpkins for our kids and we had 12 or 13 left over so we stuck them on a picnic table and they sold and probably been about 25 years or so and because we have customers who weren't born when we started and they're like married now. <laughs> On the Holly Hill Farm, we're going to showcase the repair and replacement that we've done for uh, stream crossing, the crep repair to the um, riparian buffers. We're also going to showcase some upcoming repairs to their barnyard that's yet to be implemented. What we like about the program is, is being able to get some of these projects done that farmers just couldn't have afforded to do on their own. Barnyard projects and doing the fencing and the calf barn facility. We love our calf barn facility. Farmer on his own are just cost prohibitive. We're at the stream crossing on the Dave Holly farm and um, this goes through the crep area and this was established in 2007 after the 2006 flood. It was upstream of oh, probably about 300 yards. The flood of 06 washed it out so bad we couldn't use that crossing anymore so we brought it down here and it, this actually makes a better access point for us to move our animals from the barn side of the farm to the, uh, the pasture side. and. Uh, it's worked out really well. And having a hard crossing here, we get less erosion and yes. easier for the animals. Without having to step on the small stream rocks, and, and they get through it quicker. The crep area helps uh, keep the animals out of water sensitive areas where they can muddy it up and it can run off into the streams and it helps provide buffers along the stream banks and eliminates the animals from being in the streams. We still have to cross but it's not where the cows can linger. They're driven across and, and then out of the streams. We re-enrolled in the CREP for another 10 years. Part of the re-enrollment we also then uh, repaired a couple of the, the spring development up on the yes, hill uh, spring, and a couple of the watering uh, facilities. Yeah, correct? they had to be repaired because of age. Christmas day of 2002, we got three foot of snow and it collapsed our original calf barn that we had. So then we put this coverall structure up in 2003 and it has held up extremely well. We can house up to 24 calves. By getting them out into a calf barn, the air quality was better. They were cleaner, drier, user friendly, people friendly. Very user friendly, cleaning the calf pens and just, just a big area. Yeah, just being able to take care of the calves out there is, is very nice. Um, it's so much better than a, a calf hutch. The calves are out of the wind and the rain. Also, the people taking care of the calves, is, it's better for them. It's clean, dry, draft free, and they're shedding less yeah. pathogens because they're healthier. Yeah. And then you're able to handle manure separately and spread that. The watershed's main purpose for building these calf barns was to help uh, with the Cryptosporidium and Giardia, which were a couple of diseases that they're very worried about uh, getting into the water supply. So we're 14 years in and everything in this barn right now is original. Ever came to a point where the cover would need to be replaced. We have done that on farms okay. as part of the repair and replacement. You guys have three barnyards here on yeah. the property. The original one is too small it's, for the herd. Yeah, we've outgrown. That. And you wanted to get them off the concrete, right. so we had built this barnyard for the cows, but now because of the change in standards, we're, we're less than 300 feet to the stream. So any runoff that comes off of this goes into the stream. So we're planning a roofed barnyard and then we're gonna do resurfacing with gravel as part of the repair and replacement. Because we do have more numbers of animals than we have room for in the barn, we do end up wintering some animals outdoors. 
and that is not the best environment for them. We don't have a, a covered structure for them. So we've talked about a covered barnyard area where we can feed them in a covered area. and We'd be able to keep it a neater and cleaner environment. The last few years, we've typically run 20 to 25 head of heifers outdoors all winter. And this year, and, and it looks like in future years, we're gonna be running um, 35 to maybe even 50 head of heifers. Our herd has expanded to the point that we've outgrown the facilities in the barn. Be healthier for our animals, be healthier for uh, the water quality, and uh, it'll just be a big improvement. The watershed coming along and, and looking for water quality improvement has been willing to uh, work with a farmer and help implement some of these uh, plans that need to be done to help address water quality, but also help the farmer to improve his bottom line by uh, having a, a healthier animal, putting them into a, a cleaner environment, and, uh, and that, that just impacts the bottom line on, on a farm. Farming is not a simple pitchfork and shovel type operation anymore. It's long <laughs> gone. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, knowledge going on into it. Um, it's just as high tech as any other business is out there today. Mm -hmm.